Hello beautiful people, how are you guys doing today? I hope you are doing amazing. Welcome back to another Province House Rebuild update. I think it has been a while since the last time I gave you guys an update about the house for about five days and that's because there hasn't been a lot of progress really in the Province House because they have been working on the same thing for the last few days. Anyway, we're gonna start here in the soffit. Okay, so a lot of you have actually said some correction to me that it's actually not called a ceiling on the outside of the house but instead it is called a soffit okay thank you guys for that now i have learned a new word so that little area that extends the roof on the outside of the house that's called soffit okay so if you guys can see the soffit here on this side of the house has been actually finished so papa was the one doing the skim coating and the painting as well so yeah it looks really nice i totally love it it does does make the house look more nice and presentable as well and also clean especially since we painted it white um, if you guys can compare it to the one on this side over here where it doesn't have the soffit it doesn't look good I mean it has it looks like it needs something more to like cover that area but this one I love it here on this side if you guys can see we were able to save this bamboo sofa set that i had before papa had to put varnish in it so i still have a lot of bottles of varnish um, for the doors so papa made use of those and yeah he was able to save my little sofa set this is really nice because i was thinking that i will have to buy a new sofa set that can be used for the terrace once it will be finished so i don't need to buy a new one because this can still be used over there so that's a good thing so i'm gonna take you guys um around the house here and the outside so that you guys can see the entire look of the soffit so we're gonna go in this uh area here where um, we have this really nice view and a cool breeze as well. The soffit from here going over there has been done already though only half of it has been painted and that's because Papa has to wait for them to be able to finish doing all of the hard deflects to be put as a soffit because we don't have the ladder so he could climb up in there. It's a bit high especially in this area here because the soil here is a bit low. I know a lot of you guys have suggested as well that um, we should put some screen in the air ventilation as well so that no insects or no birds can get through i told my uncle about it and he actually said yes in fact the other day i was able to see that there are a few birds flying in and out of that soffit like right this soffit over here and it's actually not a good idea to have some birds inside the soffit because it's not good for the feathers to fall into the soffit and it's gonna go into the ceiling inside the house and it's gonna get destroyed so as a work around we have this green screen <laughs> over here and this is what we're gonna be using actually to put inside of the air ventilation so that the birds will not be able to get in anymore so this is how it looks i just got one piece and yeah it should you know cover all of the air ventilation that we have here in the house i think we have eight air ventilation in total and my uncle just really built it himself using the s for s uh, one by two wood we're gonna take you here this little area again this is where the terrace will be he, this is at the back of the house and i know some of you suggested as well in the last video if you guys have watched the tom and Meljan boodle fight you guys have suggested that we should have you know cooked the food here because we have a really nice view and there's a nice air cool breeze as well but you know we shouldn't have you know cooked in the very front of the house but anyway maybe next time because once you know the terrace will be done then uh you know we can sit down here do another brutal fight again and of course on the other side that's where we are going to have the dirty kitchen i think they should be able to finish the soffit today it's only 2 p.m and there's only one air ventilation i believe that they need to put in and then that's it they should be done with it uh the next thing that they're going to work on is the cabinet for the kitchen and the wardrobe for the bedroom as well and after that should 
proceed in doing the terrace. So if you guys have any suggestions on how we should design or decorate the terrace slash the dirty kitchen on the other side, please comment it below. I am very um, open to any of you guys' suggestions and all of those suggestions are very welcome and I have been considering your suggestions all this time that we've been rebuilding the province house. Here in this area of the soffit, by the way, it still looks really dirty. That's because uh, we made use of the wall that we had from the previous uh, province house. This is the hardy flex, the wall that we used. We go here. If you guys can remember last time, this area doesn't look really nice because you can still see like the ceiling or I mean the roof over there and that. But right now, look, it's nice because they were able to cover it already. There is now the soffit. It has been installed and it goes all the way there so they're almost done with it so this is how it looks i know i know it's dirty okay but again we will fix that papa will fix that it actually took them some time for the soffit to be finished and that's because there's only two people that's working on it my brother-in-law and my uncle and papa also um, he's been helping around as well but yeah we only have this ladder that they've been using all this time and papa cannot really use it while they're using it so papa has to wait for them to be finished installing all the soffit and that's when we he starts you know doing the skin coating here and the painting as well i am gonna take you guys here this is what they have been finishing today if you guys can see they are on that side already and that's just gonna take them i don't know maybe 20 minutes and they should be done with it that's it okay I'll just show you guys something over here. If you guys will look up, you can see the air ventilation. I don't know if you guys can see it clearly, but there is already the green screen inside of it. So no birds can get through uh, in that air ventilation. And of course the rest, they're gonna have to put the green screen. I'm not quite sure how would they go about it. But again, thank you guys for your suggestion. If you guys did not tell me about the green screen or putting a screen, then I wouldn't have considered doing that. So thank you all your suggestions are very helpful okay so now we are here in the very front of the house this is where the garden the vegetable the garden that i had before yesterday it was still very messy there was a lot of grass really stubborn grass and it's actually quite hard to like remove it i can remember my sister was trying to remove the grass and she only was able to finish a little piece or a little area here in this garden but yeah actually papa was able to finish removing moving all of the grass um, in the garden so that's good guys we will be starting to plant in this front garden over here comment below what vegetable that we could plant here like eggplant okra whatsoever comment below i would love to know it if you guys can remember i was really having a fun time harvesting the vegetables that's a very good experience so yeah anyway that is pretty much it let's go inside share with you the next progress that they were able to finish in the province house now we are here in our messy kitchen and this is one of the progress that they were able to do for the last few days as well so they've been they've been doing overtime work like at night um, so that you know we will be able to finish the house soon because my uncle needs to go back home to Cagayan here in this section where the sink is this is where I'm planning to put the trash can or the bin so if you guys can see he only put this uh, plywood over here because it's only one door that he is going to attach and then yeah it will look more clean because you know the trash can will be inside now here on this side i asked him to put like one shelf so that i could put here i don't know some of the pots the pans and whatsoever or maybe i could also put the oven there because it actually fits and then we are going to have two doors over here that will open like that but so far, uh, this is what they were able to finish. Here on this side as well, um, we have one shelf. So we have a lot of storage here. This is where we actually put the gas for the stove. And I just asked my uncle to cut it in half so that that area will be for the gas itself. And then this area, I could still store some stuff. Yeah, I cannot wait for them to be able to finish the door as well. So that finally, I could arrange the plates, I could arrange the pots, the pans 
hands whatsoever and it would look more cleaner now so that some of the stuff here in the countertop will be put here and I could have a lot of um, area to work on once I will be cooking so yeah this is the little update here in the kitchen area guys um, if you guys can remember in the last video I was able to share with you the cabinet handles that I will be using which is actually made of wood that is the same as the wood that we have in our dining table. Right now, we are here in our bedroom and there's gonna be noise everywhere, okay? Because if you notice earlier, they're still working on the soffit on the outside. But by the way, this is how my wardrobe looks like here in the bedroom. And I'm quite happy with it because it's not only very affordable, but also this is how I want it. There is a lot of storage now and I'm so happy about it, but this is not the final look, okay? Uh, they were not able to finish doing the door. So my plan was uh, to actually have a lot of hangers where I can put all my clothes. So these three, one, two, three, um, they're a bit long on the length and this is actually where the clothes that needs to be hanged will be so we will have one here two three and the height of it is just fine for my height I could still reach it so that's good and then we have here some storage and at the bottom as well so yeah I'm quite happy I have been contemplating on whether should I buy a new cabinet for uh, the bedroom or should I just do a DIY or do it yourself so I asked my uncle if he knows how to make one and he actually does so I just decided to let him do this one it's actually very sturdy and we are using the 3 4th plywood it's very hard and the good thing about it as well I think we've only used three pieces of marine plywood and each cost around 20 US dollars so this is around 60 US if I am going to get a new cabinet from the mall like this plastic one that you guys can see over here it's gonna cost a lot and it's not gonna be as sturdy as this if you guys can remember the cabinet that I got just before Typhoon that happened here in Cebu cost me around 11,000 pesos and this cost me 3,000 pesos I know that's not including labor yet but labor would only cost about 1,000 pesos as well because for two days you should be able to finish doing everything so yeah it's really nice if you guys are doing your houses or you know renovating your bedroom or if you want to have a new cabinet I would highly recommend if you know someone that can do it it's better to do it because you will have the freedom to you know decide on uh, if you want it to look like this or what's gonna be the look of your cabinet you all have the freedom to do it and like if you go to the mall you have to stick with the design that they have so I'm very happy and I cannot wait for you know this cabinet to actually be finished all they have to do is to attach the doors and yeah it should be done already and I can finally put all of this stuff here in this bedroom the stuff are like so everywhere it's not organized yet that's because because I've been waiting for this so that you know I could hang all of the clothes and that I'm gonna be updating you guys like how it's gonna be the final look of this cabinet of course once it will be done I know it would look totally different once you know the doors will be here all right guys so that's pretty much it for the little update that we have here in the province house again there's not much progress because the soffit uh, take some time to be finished but yeah I'm quite happy that you know I do have a wardrobe now in the bedroom and they've started doing the cabinet in the kitchen as well so that I could start organizing everything the next video that I'll be sharing with you will probably be the start of the building of the terrace and I'm happy about it very happy um, I know a lot of you by the way has been um, asking if I'm going to share with you guys like how much did I spend for that entire province house rebuild yeah I will have to go through all of the receipts and all of the communication that I have with my mom because you know um, I actually lost track of the expenses for this province house because it's like so all over the place but yeah I will you know make sure that I will be able to give you guys a rough estimate on how much did this province house rebuild cost me okay 
okay so yeah anyway that's pretty much it guys i hope you guys are excited for the terrace that's what i'm very excited about so that we could sit outside and that view is really nice especially in the morning i'm gonna go and end the vlog here thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoy this little update and if you did please give it a big thumbs up leave me a comment down below any suggestions you guys have for the terrace and for the dirty kitchen as well please comment it i would love to read those and as always follow me on my social media accounts instagram and facebook everything is at Melgen Salon. I will see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to smile and be happy. Bye!